everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a very, very, very exciting unboxing slash reveal for you. It's obviously as mentioned in the description. Louis Vuitton! And you can hear Elena cry. Anyway, I've been wanting this particular item for the longest time. Like, I went and saw this item in store back in 2017, I think. It was before I was going to Melbourne to study. So it's been a long time. I didn't get it in the end because I wanted to save to go to Portugal. And then Alina happened and then we ended up spending all the savings for the baby. Anyway, I thought about this wallet since then and obviously that's a pretty good sign that, you re that I really wanted the wallet. So... I finally had the chance to get the wallet. I just give you a quick backstory. I sold my Prada wallet to get this and interest also pay a little bit extra as a birthday gift alongside my coach bag. So yeah, that's kind of the reason why I didn't get a Gucci bag. So I did kind of briefly vaguely mention that here and there in my birthday vlog why I didn't get a Gucci bag. And the reason why is because I wanted to get this wallet and I wanted this wallet longer than the Gucci bag. So that's why I settled for a coach black bag because I needed a black bag in my wardrobe. And then I was able to get the Louis Vuitton item in here. So that's pretty much it. I'm really excited. The last time I did a Louis Vuitton unboxing was before I moved to Perth. And with that being said, I was a hijabi then. So I had to remove those videos, which sucks because not wearing the hijab part, but having to remove those videos off YouTube sucks because obviously they're like my favorite videos and they got so many views. And you know, everyone likes to look at Louis Vuitton videos when they're thinking about buying an item, which is what I do. So that's kind of why I'm doing this video. So I'm not doing this video because I want to show off. I'm doing this video because I generally love watching videos like this especially when it's an item that I actually am looking into getting and so that's why I'm doing it in case there's someone out there that is thinking about getting this particular item because every video is different. Like yeah they all seem to be the same but they are different in a way as well. Like some people may mention a, a detail here and there that someone else didn't and I just like watching these type of videos so that's why I'm doing it and that's kind of I feel like what why YouTubers do videos. They do videos based on what they enjoy watching so without further ado let's get into the unboxing reveal because once Zay wakes up I have to attend to him so let's quickly get into this you're going to hear Idris and Alina playing in the background but what can you do <laughs> let's go I'm really 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 excited seriously you guys like I haven't gotten a little time item in a long time so yeah, I'm really happy and it wasn't like an impulse buy like I said I've, I've been I've had this in my mind for a long time and I needed this item as well I don't need it but anyway I'll just show you and then I'll get into more detail as to why I got this so here's the bag I got it today literally today we went to the city this morning to get it and then we went out for lunch here's the receipt in here they've also emailed me a digital copy as well oh. <laughs> And this is the essay who helped me out. He was really nice. His name is Tian. If you're in, in Perth and you're wanting to go to the Louis Vuitton store here, Tian is great. He was really nice, very patient, um, and really, really helped me out. But yeah, so this is a hard copy receipt. And I also got a digital copy as well emailed to me, which they never did back then for my last purchases. So must be a new service that they're offering. And then here's the little guy. No, it's not a bag. I would have loved a bag, but oh, this is so expensive. And as I've said time and time again, I don't really want to make Idris buy me a, you know, a item that expensive. So this is more than enough for me. Really excited. Comes in the typical orange box and a blue ribbon, which I never like to ruin. So I just kind of slip it off. Hopefully I can remember how to put it back on. I always keep the ribbons and put them back on. We'll try to anyway. So here you go. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Let me know in the comment box before I open it. So pause this video, scroll down to the comment box down below and let me know what you think it is. Anyway, here we go. And it's a dust bag. I mean, you surely you should be able to tell now by the size of the item. It's got Louis Vuitton there. So lush. So lush. And uh oh, stuck. There it is. Mm. So, if you don't know what this is, it's the Emily 
wallet and a monogram print in the rose ballerine. So, okay, okay, I'll just quickly show you inside. I don't really want to get into detail on the measurements and everything like that. There's so many other videos out there who explain it and sometimes I find them a little bit boring anyway because you would have seen so many of these videos already and you have to re repeat here in the same constant information. It gets a little bit blur for me anyway. Here it is. It's a nice rose ballerine interior. It's got four card pockets at the front. A zip closure for coins whatever and then one two three interior pockets inside so that's pretty much the wallet which I've been wanting for so long I'll just get to the point so initially when I first looked at the wallet I was looking at getting the Demia Ebin in the red interior because one all my bags and smaller the goods that I own were a monogram print so I thought getting a dummy bin in a wallet would be different and nice I also didn't like the fuchsia interior in the monogram I preferred the red but they don't make the red interior in the monogram pr print anymore so I would have had to get second hand and I couldn't really find any online and when I did it wasn't in that great condition so anywho three four years went by i decided that i didn't like the damio bin anymore like i literally have the picture in my phone from 2017 of the damio bin with the red interior with the price tag that's like how how long it's been that i've been wanting it for and that was the one that i wanted but as the years went on i guess my taste changed and i felt like that the damio have been in the small leather good just i don't know i didn't like it it felt kind of meh for me i preferred the monogram but i just would have liked the interior i did like the, the fuchsia and the rose ballerine i did like but i was afraid that it would get dirty because a lot of people in youtube videos said that it gets dirty but the essay tian I, I don't know how to pronounce his name like i told him my worries and he said yeah that's true it does get dirty but the only reason it gets dirty is if you put receipts in there that's how they get dirty you don't put anything else in there it, it's a wallet it stays in your bag you don't leave it out in the rain or exposing to any kind of dirt the only thing the only way it will get dirty is what you put in there and you can easily wipe it with some wipes that reassured me that the rose ballerine was easy to maintain so yeah that's kind of why i decided to get the monogram print in the rose ballerine and i have no regrets i really like it but i would have liked the red interior however it is what it is and I'm very happy with the Rose Ballerine. I just did not like the Fuchsia. So I do have a habit of putting receipts in my wallets. So I guess for that very reason, I'll have to try and refrain from putting receipts in here to avoid the Rose Ballerine getting dirty. I do want to get it hot stamped with my initials, but Tian said that there is a bit of a wait at the moment, like 10 days wait. He really suggested that I wait. A little bit longer before getting hot stamped and that's fine I didn't want to leave it there anyway I wanted to bring it home with me now and I'm happy to go back later on down the track when they're not as busy to get hot stamped so that's pretty much it there was something else that I wanted to say but I can't remember but I sold my Prada wallet on chain to get this wallet I was short a little bit so it just paid the rest as a birthday gift and I did mention in my birthday vlog that I originally wanted to get a Gucci bag but I wanted to get this wallet as well and obviously I can't have everything and I wanted this a lot longer than a Gucci bag so I was happy to settle for something a little bit more affordable so I could get this and so I've got that coach bag that I showed in my vlog. So I'll leave the link up here for you in the corner for you to check out if you want to see what coach bag I got. So yeah, that's that. I'm really excited. I'm going to pretty much swap over my wallet to this one now. I have been using my PM Agenda as my wallet because I just didn't like my Prada wallet any longer. It was annoying, a bit bulky. I wanted something a little bit more compact, which is why I chose this Emily wallet. I did look at the Victorine and the Josephine back then, not now. And I don't know, it just, there was something about it that I didn't like for both of them. The Emily just seemed to be the perfect fit. It's obviously not compact, compact like the Victorine. I think the Victorine is quite small, not small, not tiny. Like I'm pretty sure I've, I forgot how big it is in person, but I do remember watching YouTube and it is a lot bigger than their other compact wallets. It's more of a bigger size compact wallet that makes sense but I don't know there was something about it I didn't like so in the end I just felt like the Emily was the perfect size for me I started off growing up having really big wallets my last mid-tier 
luxury wallet was a Michael Kors and it was um, a zip compartment type wallet and it opens up and it was huge could fit so many cards in there and it was mostly for like my you know membership cards like club cards whatever they're called and then as I got an order since getting the Pichette Matisse the Michael Kors bag doesn't fit in the Pichette Matisse which is another reason why I stopped using that Michael Kors wallet anyway I started to get more into more compact, more minimalist type wallets if that makes sense. So I don't really carry that many cards anymore. I just carry my essential cards and then little things here and there and I just wanted a wallet that wasn't too big so then I don't just stuff it in and then makes it really heavy. I wanted um, just a decent size wallet that could fit my important stuff and it fits your phone as well. I can't remember if it fits the plus iPhone but I know it fits just a standard iPhone. So I just thought it was a good size wallet. I had a of good, good reviews. Yes, there's going to be wear and tear on the button part. I, I'm aware of that. But Tian did say that you can replace it and the first replacement is free. And if I wanted to, I could actually get this replaced with the metal button rather than this button. So I have that in mind for when the time comes and this gets really damaged, I can get it replaced and I can choose to get the metal one if I wish, which I'm probably more than likely will because yeah, I did read that this does get really, really damaged. That's really it. That's all that I wanted to mention. That's what the essay said in WA. Don't quote me on that if you're in a different state or country. That's that. That is my birthday gift to myself slash birthday gift from interest and I'm really 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 excited about it as I said I've been wanting this for the last three or four years now so I'm just glad that it's finally here and I can stop thinking about it and settle down <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sure I will do a update on it thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and stick around if you like to see more fashion content then head over to my Instagram account and follow me there as I'm more focused on fashion there and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.